Good afternoon. A violent rampage in Clovis last night ended with a woman doing something heroic to help police catch the man behind it all. Police say that man raped a woman in her yard, then killed her friend, and took two other women hostage at gunpoint. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has the story. Clovis police were called just before 7 last night after a woman says she was approached by 31 year old Jimmy Reagan demanding money. Police say when she didn't give him any money, he raped her at gunpoint. Then he kicked in the back door, shooting and killing her friend, 35 year old Shondell Lofton. The woman escaped in her van. She was uh, driving away. The suspect ran after her and fired a shot at her van. Uh, which struck the vehicle but didn't hit her. When police arrived, they found Lofton dead and the killer gone. Witnesses told police Reagan tried to carjack one driver and failed, then kidnapped two women in their van at gunpoint. One of them was actually a husband that saw his wife was being abducted, had been abducted. Deputies caught up with Reagan and said he pointed a gun at police during the chase. Police say along the way, Reagan stopped at at least two people's homes, holding a hostage at gunpoint, trying to break in. At one of those homes, the homeowner fired his gun, scaring Reagan away. Officers chased the van down this road where it finally stopped. At that point, one hostage escaped, then Reagan emerged. He wound up coming out of the vehicle, uh, had her around the neck with a gun to her head, and kept telling officers to back away or he'd shoot her. He took her to this front porch where officers surrounded him. In a situation like that, when an officer has a clear shot, he's going to take a shot at the suspect. But the victim was able to pull the gun away from her head. At that point, the state policeman was able to step in and pointed his barrel of his shotgun into the suspect's chest, at which time he dropped the gun and the lady got a hold of it and threw the gun away. The two hostages were not seriously injured. In Clovis, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Police say Reagan admitted to everything. He is charged with murder for starters. Police are investigating to see if all the victims in the case were random and to see if Reagan was drunk or high during the rampage.